Hi everyone, it's me. So, <laughs> since we left off in the previous video, I have taken three <laughs> rest days. So yeah, I know this challenge is our like New Year's strength challenge, but obviously to get this video out for you guys on time for New Year's, I have to pre-film, pre-record, start the challenge earlier so I have time to like edit and get the videos up for you in time. But we just had Christmas. So today is actually the 27th of December. We're still in 2022 today. But yeah, I took Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and Boxing day off. I was going to work out on Boxing Day, that was my original plan, but I woke up on Boxing Day. I was just so absolutely exhausted from all the festivities and celebrations from the two days before that I just decided to continue my rest day and pick it back up today on the 27th. So here we are, we are finally picking it up and as promised, so last week on my first week of my strength journey, we did a week of the Iron Series by Caroline Gerben, which I absolutely Absolutely loved would be absolutely more than happy to continue that series for this entire month but I also like trying new things and a lot of you actually gave me some really really great suggestions on good strength trainers so for this week I've made a more of a mishmash compilation of different workouts from different trainers to try all strength focused of course because that is the underlying theme of this month-long challenge and yeah I'm really excited to start this week get on to week two so today we have what do we have? I need to remind myself because I made this program last week before the festivities started and I have to get my mindset back into things. Okay, so this one's gonna be super excited. I know a lot of you love, 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 love this trainer. So we are starting today with Fitness KK. I like always get recommendations to try Fitness KK and I have done a couple of her workouts before but not too many. From what I remember, she's basically like a combination between Caroline Gervin and Growing Ananas. I feel like in terms of workout style and video style, which is absolutely perfect because those are two of my favorite trainers on YouTube. So just the perfect combination of both. But yeah, today's workout is a 30 minute full body dumbbell workout. And in the title, she's also included strength focus with weights. Perfect for today, perfect for this challenge. Let's get back into it. We've been off for three days. So yeah, let's go. Love that one so much. Lots of good strength work in there, but we also had a bit more cardio in there, especially compared to Iron Week last week where we did like absolutely zero cardio. There was a little bit of cardio in here, mostly in like the warm up, I guess, to get your heart rate up and your body warm. And then also we had like about a two minute cardio finisher that was really fun, all complete with burpees and everything. But yeah, for the most part, the bulk of the workout was very, very, very strength. Oriented. We also did a couple of creative moves that I have actually never done before, which I find is very rare for me to come across these days. After the past couple of years of doing home workouts, I feel like I have done every variation, every sequence of everything possible. But Fitness KK proved me wrong and she showed me some exercises that I haven't tried before, especially a lot of the like roundabout like pull things with like steps and stuff. Never done any of those before. Oh yeah, and also those like straddle lift things. Never done that before, but yeah, really enjoyed it. So yeah, good start to the week. It feels great getting back to workouts. It's been a while. It just feels so good and so normal to get back into it. <laughs> All right, I need to have somewhat of a speedy post-workout meal because I actually have a brand call, very exciting, in seven minutes. So I have, what is this? Squash, sweet, sweet potato, ginger, something soup. Apparently it's very good. Let's give it a taste. Mm. <laughs> That's really good. Mm. Oh, the ginger in it's really good. I also have half a bagel with like pate. Mmm. We haven't had this in a while. And my greens and protein concoction. If you didn't watch my last video, this is how I have discovered that I will be able to stomach the taste of pea protein <laughs> with plain greens for some reason. Okay, I'm gonna eat really quick. <laughs> good morning. Oh, I've got my little cats chilling here. 
they're gonna get comfy while I work out probably. Today we are trying another strength workout from a different trainer. We're going a little bit of a different route today and we're not doing like traditional strength training, I guess. To me, this is still strength training, but I feel like a lot of people, especially on the internet, would probably consider this to like not be a strength workout, but I say it is. So today we are trying the trainer Margaret Elizabeth, which again, I have had so, so, so many recommendations to try. So yeah, Margaret Elizabeth, I feel like does focus primarily on Pilates. So today is actually a 30 minute Pilates strength workout. So yes, we are doing Pilates, <laughs> but this workout does have a strength in the video title itself. So I still consider it a strength workout. And for those of you who say you can't build strength doing Pilates, I disagree. <laughs> a lifetime of dance training and Pilates training disagrees with you. <laughs> but yeah, that's all I have to say. <laughs> Let's do this workout. So cozy, my goodness. That's the mood I want to be in right now. <laughs> okay, so honestly, I think that's what I needed today. I didn't want anything like so high intensity, but that definitely still worked my muscles. Just not in like a ah, hardcore, I'm gonna go 100% today kind of a way. And even if we are doing a strength challenge this month, I feel like not every day has to be like a 100%. Give it your all 10 out of 10 intensity. It's all about the consistency. So not too intense today. I feel like this workout would actually be very good for beginners, especially with Margaret's coaching style. She's very good at giving form tips, explaining what you're supposed to do, explaining exactly which muscle you're supposed to feel the burn in. So if you're new to working out and you're new to a lot of these movements, Margaret would definitely be someone great to follow because she does seem to be very knowledgeable and also a very good teacher. So love that. And yeah, I feel like today was perfect. I feel like today's workout was a perfect blend of strength with Pilates because the exercises we did, I think, were like strength movements, but where the Pilates tied in was more in the pacing, in the breath, in the technique, like how you're focusing on doing the movement. It took the principles of Pilates and laid them out onto strength exercises. So yeah, really liked it. What to do now? Breakfast now. Food now. <laughs> Breakfast wrap. I'm so excited. Of course I have this every day. A triple sausage surprise. <laughs> That's like memeable. I don't even like memes. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh, are they like extra good today? They're extra good today. Mmm. This is why I'm a savory breakfast girl. Sometimes I'm sweet. I know. <laughs> even when I want sweet breakfast, I want something savory with it. Like pancakes are better if there's like sausage. That's just my thoughts. Hi, Sage. Is she sweet or savory? You want wrap? I think she's a little bit savory today. Oh! <laughs> Sorry, Sage. I just let you smell it. Mm -hmm. Good morning! <laughs> All right, it is Wednesday now. Is it Wednesday? No, it's Thursday. <laughs> Since Christmas, I have just completely lost track of what day of the week it is. So this week I do have off of work. My company is closed from Christmas to New Year's and I find that when I'm not working my full-time job, the days just get so like muddled together in my head. <laughs> Does anyone else have that as well? Or like when I was younger, when I was in school, whenever I was on like any type of holiday, vacation, reading week, whatever, I lost track of the days every single time. But today we are doing another strength workout and today's trainer is also someone who I always see in my comments as recommendations, but that trainer is Penny Barnshaw. And the workout we are going to do today is a 30 minute full body dumbbell strength. <sighs> For some reason, I have a feeling today is gonna be like super tough, but <laughs> we'll see. Totally, 
totally loved that one. I also, okay. <laughs> so I know you're never supposed to like compare your weights with whatever someone else is using. You're supposed to be on your own journey and whatever weights that you use personally and feel good are the perfect weights for you. But I just wanna say, I feel so proud and accomplished because I was using the same weights that Penny was using. And I feel like for me, that's rare to happen because I do Caroline Gerben workouts a lot. And if you guys know Caroline, she uses like heavy, heavy, heavy weights, like literally double the amount of weight that I use. So I always feel like a little weakling beside Caroline, which I think is completely fine and normal because Caroline is just like absolutely so strong and amazing to look up to. But the fact that Penny, so in this workout, Penny was using a pair of 22 pounds and then 15 pounds and 11 pounds. And I did this entire workout with my 22s and 15s. So I didn't even have to go to the 11s. I don't own 11s. My next pair down is eight, but I didn't even use those in this workout. So I just did this whole workout with 22s and 15s and feel so accomplished that I was using the same weights that Penny was. That's just so dang cool. <laughs> like really, look how how far we've come since two years ago when I was using wine bottles and cans of beans as weights. <laughs> we have come so far, that is so, so cool. But yeah, anyways, I just wanted to share that exciting tidbit. I really liked this workout. We did supersets, which are always killer. So yeah, another great day of strength and it's time to eat. <laughs> Whoa, look how bright it is. Okay, Ooh, that's too bright. That's too bright. You can't even see what I'm trying to show you. There we go. Having a little sort of like a snacky breakfast plate this morning. This is, what was it? An Earl Grey scone from a really, really good bakery nearby. I've never tried the Earl Grey scone before, so let's try it. I love like Earl Grey tea, so I'm excited about this one. Oh, oh, that's good. I could put like jam on it or something, but honestly, don't think it needs it. Perfect the way it is. I actually made Earl Grey scones before. Probably like 10 years ago. <laughs> I put slices of brie between the scones. Oh, it was so good. But yeah, the scone, some leftover maple sausage from yesterday, and apple. And I was about to make my protein greens drink, so <laughs> I'll do that as well. Oh, I'm so excited! I had to film this one. <laughs> <gasps> Oh, oh, did I order too many? Ah. <laughs> I got excited. Let me show you guys. Oh my god. So we have this empanada place near us and we just ordered some. They have like all kinds of, hi Sage. They have all kinds of like fun, different flavors of empanadas that like maybe aren't so traditional. We're gonna try them. I have no idea what I ordered. I ordered eight different empanadas to share with my fiance. Your beautiful fiance. So, oh, so beautiful, gorgeous. <laughs> I really honestly don't remember what I got, so I think- Oh, it looks like they're marked. Yeah, they all have different like symbols on them, like this has an X. But I'll what does it X. mean? This one has like a little spade. So you'll try the X? I guess I'll try the spade. Do I just bite it? Is it hot? It feels hot. It's definitely hot. Mmm. -hmm. Barely got any filling in the first bite, but I can tell it's really good already. This is so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is pork. I have no idea what this is. There's like some sort of sausage in here. Mm. Here, I'll try this one. Beyonce says this one is pork. Chicken. This is chicken. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> this was like a coconut curry chicken or something. The crust is really good too. Oh, it's so awesome. Does this one have a symbol? Mmm. I didn't get any filling. This is pretty empty actually. <laughs> Where is the filling? That one's just plain. <laughs> There's nothing inside. <laughs> What is this one? What the heck is this one? Oh, is this the seafood one? Mmm. I think this one's lobster. Well, really? This is my favorite so far. The lobster? Mm. Square. Mmm. This is the pulled pork one. We'll try one more. We'll try circle. Mmm. Bacon apple gouda. <laughs> this is a good one to end on because the apple's a little sweet. And these are really filling. I ordered so many. Probably just could have got two each. It worked so hard today. We painted the living room wall. Only about five times. <sighs> The edges, we like kept messing up the edges. We've been painting since like yesterday, literally. So we have three left in the box. I guess we'll have them in the morning, but those are really good. And you look so full. So really full. You look more full than even I do. Mm. Good morning, my friends. Okay, we are back in the workout room. We are going to do... <laughs> I chose this workout and put it on my schedule at last week and now that I'm looking at it I'm like why did I put this on my schedule? It sounds like the absolute like most not fun work 
<laughs> I don't know. I guess I chose it because I was like, maybe it'll be a fun challenge and try something new and get out of my comfort zone. Now that I'm here today and actually have to do the workout, I'm regretting it a little bit to be honest, but we're gonna go through with it anyways because we challenged ourselves and I never back down from a challenge. <laughs> so today's workout is from Sydney Cummings, who we all know and love at this point. So this was part of her holiday hits series and this is day seven, which is a 30 minute front squat challenge. Yeah, I know, like you guys are probably watching this and just thinking like, Jamie, you don't like squats. Why did you choose this for yourself? Every other workout I've chosen so far this week has been like fun and sounded good to me. This one, wild card. I don't know what possessed me when I put this on my list, but here we are. <laughs> Let's do some front squats. Honestly, didn't hate it. <laughs> Feeling very accomplished after doing that one and I feel like Sydney just, she just manages to make everything fun with her words of encouragement, her coaching. So I'm actually happy that I did that front squat challenge because I feel strong, accomplished, and I actually, surprisingly, maybe even enjoyed it a little bit. <laughs> but anyways, it's time to have some empanadas. We have three more, so uh, let's try them. <laughs> Empanadas, please. <laughs> Why would you place them like that? <laughs> Why would you put it off the cliff? <laughs> Poor empanada, didn't deserve that. Okay, so we had three more empanadas this morning. Split them in half, obviously. Try this one. What's that one? Pulled pork. We already ate pulled pork. Fiance says this is pulled pork, but also yesterday he guessed that chicken was either beef or pork. So. <laughs> Mmm, this is a short rib. Mmm, this tastes like a stew inside of a pocket. <laughs> this one's next? This one's like pulled pork. Not <laughs> <laughs> pulled pork again. Mmm, this is a spicy beef one. I think this is like the traditional one. Mmm, this one tastes like chili. It's not like, no, I think it's pulled pork. <laughs> <laughs> that's not pulled pork, that's chicken. Oh, wait, so this one's the curry chicken. So the chicken one yesterday was, that wasn't buffalo chicken. Pulled pork. It no. could have been buffalo, yeah. It didn't taste like buffalo though. Mmm, curry chicken. Good morning. Good morning, my friends. So we are doing our fifth and final workout of this week. And today we also have another trainer that I've never tried before. And her name is, I hope I say this right, Vera LaRoe. <laughs> I don't really know where to put the emphasis on her last name because it's like capitalized on the row and I don't know. I hope I said that right. Beautiful name, by the way. I've been getting an increasing number of suggestions from you recommending her channel. So obviously we're here to try it. And today's workout is a 30 minute full body workout at home with dumbbells. I'm gonna be completely honest. My legs are sore from yesterday. Kind of like my outer glute for the most part. But yeah, we've got one more workout to finish off this week. Also also, I do want to mention that you probably noticed I didn't take any rest days this week and ideally I would have loved to take a rest day especially after yesterday but because I did a three-day rest period like before I started this week of workouts I did need to work out every single day for five days in a row straight to film and get this video out for you guys and stay on my upload schedule so yeah that's the only reason but ideally I would have taken at least one rest day that being said though tomorrow I am for sure going to take a rest day because I definitely need it. <laughs> Anyways, Vera LaRoe, let's try this workout. I'm so excited. I have no idea what her style is going to be like, so let's go. Honestly, such a solid full body day. Really nothing to complain about. This workout was no repeat. So we did a lot of exciting variations of exercises. I feel like whenever you have a no repeat video, you're bound to do some sort of creative variation because there's no way you can just fill 30 minutes of time with all unique exercises and not get creative. <laughs> we alternated between upper body, lower body, did some core. So we got all into everywhere today. Also, side note, her cat, like Vera's cat, made an appearance 
like throughout the workout, mostly in the cool down. And her cat is like the cutest, fluffiest little thing ever. <laughs> Makes me want to go hug my cats right now. They didn't come in because I had my door closed just because it was kind of loud outside. But yeah, I just want to go give my cats a hug now. <laughs> But that being said, that wraps it up for this week. I have done my five strength workouts for the week and tomorrow I am for sure taking a rest day. I did create my workout schedule for next week and it's gonna be another week full of really, really great workouts. We have an awesome lineup. So definitely excited for that and definitely stay tuned if you wanna see me try more strength workouts. Next week will be week three already. So we are basically halfway done this strength challenge and I'm feeling really, really good. So yeah, I'm ending it right here. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave me a like and a comment. If you don't know what to comment down below, let me know if you're doing any sort of challenge right now, or if you did a workout today or a rest day, let me know what you did in the comments. If you like me, subscribe, do that bell thing, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.